Oh my god, look at this shit. I'm really happy you guys don't have smell vision because this smells fucking terrible. So whenever a film degrades, there's what's called vinegar syndrome. Basically the acetate plastic that is the backing of the film, because there's there's the plastic backing, and let's imagine the leader's that. And then you have the emulsion which has all the ink and stuff like that on it. Well, that plastic degrades over time and becomes very acidic. And it makes like a vinegar smell. Well this this has been evidently like a lot of it has to do with heat. Like this might have been stored on top of a furnace or something like that because all the other reels I have were in really good condition, but this one, for some reason, this reel has degraded the more than I've ever seen. Where like all these reels are like stuck together. I mean all these um layers of film are basically melted together. And yeah, it's just it's amazing. So basically the 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 plastic turns into an acid and then that acid perpetuates the process until it's almost like a rapid, uh, only, only it takes a couple of years, and it it goes from smelling like vinegar to smelling like something worse. Like I've had these sitting out for two days, and they still are emitting such a foul stench that, like, I could see someone throwing up from the smell. It smells like there's a dead carcass, and like a bunch of like a 55 gallon. A barrel of some nasty chemical sitting right in front of me. It's so weird. And I've been trying to see about maybe I can try cleaning this, but then it occurred to me the emulsion, I think that's held on by gelatin. So if I clean this, I might clean off all the image and I'd just be left with the shitty deteriorating backing material. So that's kind of pointless. Oh. Ew, look how that went. That is disgusting. Film should not look like that. Film should look like this, where it's all nice and orderly. No real deterioration. This one doesn't smell hardly at all like vinegar either, so that's cool. And nice and clear and not all crumpled. Because the issue is this old acetate film will actually shrink and so the image will slowly crack off of the back plastic and then you really can't project it at all. That's why film preservation is so difficult. I just expanded my collection a great deal. Got 11 more reels of film. All the reels are really interesting. There's a few purple reels. So I'm probably going to see about ripping the film off of those and keeping those purple reels for myself because that's awesome. Like that. Look at that. That... I I consider that purple. And it has that neat old 1950s paint on it. So that's pretty cool. And a weird later too. Wow, what the fuck's going on with this later? Oh, here's a good example of vinegar syndrome. See how that's all red? So, one part of vinegar syndrome is that the, I think it's what, the, the green and red, or the green and blue dyes deteriorate, and then the red dyes pretty much last forever. So your film, your color film, goes from color to red and white. But this is interesting. Looks like this is actually bad film. So normally people use leaders, but it looks like this, this was like film that was accidentally exposed, so it was ruined before it could be developed. Looks like they just used that as the leader, that's, that's kind of cool. It looks almost like a magnetic tape of some sort. Oh. A plain white envelope. That sounds like some sort of educational film. Like here is a regular one. This is a, a leader made to be a leader. It's just a piece of plastic that's actually designed to be a leader, not necessarily like the other one. The Family in the Purple House. The film on the purple reel. That's so cool. Eh, it's more like a bluish. I don't know. So some of those films have the little countdown timer before the film. I might cut that off 
and put that onto my films that I'm filming myself because it'd be kind of cool. Although, I'd hate to do that and for that to be already deteriorating and then that to be releasing an acidic chemical inside of the, the film and then further deteriorating my film, which is brand new, I would hate to like seed deterioration in my film. So I might not. I don't know. Oh well. Oh, I organized the basement a bit more, added this shelving unit, so that's pretty cool. Uh, opening up a lot of space. I'm probably going to see about moving a bunch of shit over here from the storage unit so I can move my arcade machine into the storage unit because I have an arcade machine that's stuffed away at a warehouse in Greenville that isn't really like supposed to be there and the company that owns the warehouse might be going under soon so I would hate to lose my arcade machine, my first arcade machine. So I might have to do a lot of work of moving stuff this week but that's fine. It'd be nice to finally get that arcade machine over here. That's pretty much it. Just some film adventures. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya.